Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm going to do a little bit different today. I only ha had a couple things coming from Amazon and I don't even remember what they, I don't think they're Christmas presents. I, I know I got some vitamins and some gingins, ginger, ginger candies, some deodorant. And I think that's all I got coming. Um, I don't know, I might have... I might have a couple stocking stuff coming, but it's not anything. And I don't know when it's coming because I can't check my Amazon now because my husband has now taken over Amazon to buy me presents so I can no longer look at the Amazon cart. So I don't know exactly when those are going to be here. And uh, it's only like four things. So I'm going to go ahead and show you what I do have from Big Lots. I saved the things I got from Walmart. Or saved wrappers that I got from Walmart, I should say. Uh... A couple things I got from, I think a couple things I got from Amazon. One or two things. And then, I finally got my five below order, so I'm excited to show you that. I got a whole bunch of rolls of paper towel. I'm not, a paper towel. Wrapping paper. I'm not going to be able to show you that because it, it, that's all up in the closet. Because um, my room was full of stuff. I finished making some of the candy boxes, but as you can see back here... I have a couple that I'm going to attempt to put together on camera. I might not actually put them together on camera. I might just show you what's going in them. Um, and then the cookies. I'll show you the cookies after I make them and put them in a box. Um, I also have a crazy story that I'm going to tell you as I show you things. Or as I put the boxes together. I was going to do a diamond painting on the little diamond painting things on camera. These little doohickeys. I got the octopus and the seahorse done today. But I just kind of whipped through them and forgot all about that I was going to do one on camera. <laughs> so it's already done but then I can put together one of my niece and nephew's bags on camera we'll see how long it takes to do all this so um the first thing I got from Biggie Lots is I got this candle for my sister Santa's cookies I don't know if I can open it without yeah I can ah Ooh, it smells good it smells like snickerdoodles I was going to say sugar cookies with cinnamon, <laughs> which is a snickerdoodle. Snickerdoodles. Snickerdoodles. Um, I can't put this back on with that lid on, and I don't want to be doing nothing in the background, so I'm going to do that on camera so you can at least be watching something happen. Um, have you ever seen the movie Twitches? Actually, I think it's Twitches 2. Uh, the nanny comes upstairs with a tray of cookies, but she's been taken over by the shadow man. And so she goes, Snickerdoodles! Snickerdoodles! <laughs> I watch that movie like four times every Halloween. The next thing I got for my sister is these teas. Um, let's see. It's got peppermint candy cane, cinnamon orange, apple spice. Oh, uh, peppermint candy cane, cinnamon orange green tea. Apple spice green tea, winter spice green tea, winter gray black tea, regular green tea, holiday berry green tea, and something berry pomegranate green tea. Oh, look at this. It says them all on the back. We got the, it has the, oh, look at that, ingredients, green tea. Green tea, raspberry flavor. Green tea, artificial cranberry pomegranate. So the winter gray black tea is bergamot and black tea. That peppermint and caramel flavors in the candy cane one? Peppermint and caramel. That doesn't seem like a good combination. But what do I know? Okay, the next thing I got isn't anything special. I just got two new nonstick pizza pans. I got copper because I'm making cookies, as you know. And so I bought two brand new pans, a different color from the ones I have, to make my sister's gluten-free cookies on so that there isn't any cross-contamination. Uh, let set this. Right. I don't know where to set things. Things to be setted. Nope, <laughs> it's not gonna work. We'll do that. 
knocking things over there. And then I think this is the last thing I got for my sister. Um, I told you she's making a coffee bar. I've mentioned that probably three times now. And I got her a little sign. I got her the cocoa kit to go with it. I got her the, some teas to go with it. And then I got her these 12 coffees of Christmas. And it's got French roast, spiced eggnog, chocolate coconut blizzard, glazed cinnamon roll, gingerbread, French vanilla, roasted chestnut, peppermint mocha, uh, Christmas cookie, donut shop blend, hot buttered rum, and candy cane. I won't do it. I won't do it. Yes, I will. Candy cane. Um, best by September 30th, 2024. So this has got two years on it. So if she wanted to put them out for the holiday this year and then put some out for the holiday next year, like, I mean, it's, that's got a long life. So that'll be good. This seems like a random thing I bought, but my son mentioned the other day that he wants to make um, molten lava cakes. So I'm actually, I got him this because that's what you use to make molten lava cakes, his cupcake pan. So I got him this cupcake pan and then I'm going to get him a chocolate cake mix, the fudge and the hard shell. Um, and that's going to be one of his presents. And then you'll have no excuse. Oh, and the recipe, obviously, that I'll print out and put on his thing. Um, I can explain noises. It's okay. Um... The next thing, what else did I get? Oh, I'm going to get this stuff off the table because it's garbage. I just kept the wrappers to show you. I got, so some more of the candy canes I got was Airheads, Hawaiian Punch. And the Hawaiian Punch had Fruit Juicy Red, Lemon Berry Squeeze, and Polar Blast. And I think this might have been the one I just ate. And if that's the Lemon Berry Blast, that was gross. That was a very gross candy cane. The next one I got was the Airhead, and it had... The white one was a mystery flavor. Cherry and blue raspberry. My uh, daughter stole all of the remaining... All the extra mystery white ones that I had left, she stole them. <laughs> and then I got Fun Dip. 12 blue raspberry, 12 cherry. And I got, I didn't keep the wrapper for these ones, and I don't know why. And now I don't know where I put them. This is weird and awkward. I had, I got, um, what do you call them? Oh, yeah, here we go, right here. These are hot tamale candy canes, and they're hot. <laughs> I took a big chunk because it has cinnamon in it, you know. Cinnamon is what's in the hot tamale candies. So it makes them hot. And I took a big chunk and I ate it. Oh my gosh, I just felt, blew my head off. It was so hot. So they're good and they're spicy and they work. Just don't take a giant chunk because yikes. Unless you can handle heat better than me. I don't handle heat well. Okay, what else I got? What else I got? Oh, I got a bunch of wrapping stuff I can show you. I forgot about all this. I got some tissue paper. Red, white, and red, white, and green. I got these bags. Um, this says ho, ho, ho and a pocket full of snow. Santa Claus. It's the most wonderful time of the year. And then I think, oh no, they do say different ones. North Pole, I don't know what this is. North Pole Express Delivery. May your days be merry and bright. And then the big one says, May your days be merry and bright. It's just the most wonderful time of year. Merry Christmas. And then it replays. Um, there's eight bags in here. Um, well, it doesn't replay. I got two of the same ones. So, um, I believe there's three, four small ones. I have six. Yeah, four small ones. I don't know. There's eight total. Eight total. And then I got, I just got some boxes because I got some shirts. Actually, I think I just got a shirt. 
blanket. I got a lot of blankets. I think everybody I know got a blanket from me. And then so I needed some foxes. And then I got another. This is actually the one I meant to get two of, and I'm kind of bummed that I got two of the other one, but that's okay. Um, so it's just another one, and it says, Naughty, nice, I can explain. Um, good things come in all sizes. Uh, believe in the magic. Tis the season. What does that say? Tis the season to be jolly. Oh, I could figure that out. Yay! Good stuff inside. <laughs> it's a holiday. It's a holly jolly Christmas, and the big one says, May your days be merry and bright. Okay, so that one says the same thing as the other one. Uh, so those are those. Oh, I got the last Hershey kiss I got was hugs. And I kept the replicas. Like I said, I filled the candy boxes already. My husband is taking the two for his co-workers tonight. And then I got two for my work and my daughter's work. And now my son's work. My son now works at the same place that me and my daughter work. Well, I haven't actually been to work in a long time. Ugh, but, ooh. I shall be going back after the holiday season, I hope. That is the plan. This stuff is heavy when it's all together. It doesn't seem like it would be, but it really is. Okay. Shake that down. I don't know where I want to put that. So, you know, you guys know I got all that popcorn that I was going to put in those little bags and stick in the, like, the cookie boxes or whatever. I bought so much candy and not big enough containers that I'm not able to do that. So now I'm just going to give the the bags of popcorn to, I'm going to like decide who gets the bag of popcorn. And then those big, too big, the two big containers, I don't know, I might still put some in bags and give them to my niece and nephew, but I don't know, we'll see. Um, I got caramel corn and kettle corn in the big containers and I think... I think my brother-in-law likes caramel corn. He loves popcorn, but I already got him an elf popcorn tin. So, I don't know. I might just have popcorn coming out of my ears for days. Um, This isn't like a Christmas thing. It's just men's razors, but they're for my son's stocking. So, and I got him. Oh, I got him a... Um, what is it called? Um... I believe I got him a like a toiletry kit for Christmas. I usually get them, and he uh he's been out of work for a while, so he didn't really have. But I don't know if I got it or not. I meant to. Well, we'll see. I can't look at my Amazon, so I won't be able to tell you for sure until I get there if I got it. Um, okay. The next thing I got is for my grandmother. Uh. It's a necklace. It has four rings on it. And then you can read it. It's four generations. Yeah. Love between a great grandmother, grandmother, mother, and grandchildren. Sure. I don't know why I do that. I'm like, here, you read this. And then I just read it to you anyway. But <laughs> I'm just thinking, maybe you want me to read it. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe. You're thinking, I don't want to read that. You do it. Not that it was difficult. Okay. And then I got two of these squash mellows. Squish moles. Squish moles. The Cheshire cat. I got two of them. One for my um, husband's aunt and one for my daughter. Because they both like Cheshire cat. And they're little squish mellows. They're not the ginormous ones. Which apparently... And I don't know that I would have done this anyway because they're freaking ginormous. But in the beginning of November, and I don't know how long it, was, it lasted, Costco, I don't know if you have a Costco near you. It's a big bulk store um, where you buy things in bulk and like you have to have a membership. Um, but you can shop online, so I don't know how that works. But anyways, if you shopped online, they had um, 
a four pack of uh, Squishmallows for like 40 bucks or something. But they were huge. They were like 12 of these. They were gigantic. A lady posted it on TikTok. She said her, or she was buying some for, or not TikTok. I don't have TikTok. Reels. She posted on Reels. and said her niece was obsessed with them and she said she wanted to get them. So she went to Costco to order them and she didn't look at the sizes. Yeah, I know. I know how you do that. And she got them in the mail and they're huge. They were as big as, they were almost as big as she was. And I was like, dang, that's crazy. But, um, yeah, so, and I got a bunch of mini ones. I got a brand new cookie scoop. And then, as I mentioned, I got the trays for my sisters. But I will do my sister's cookies first so that there isn't any cross-contamination. And then I probably, I mean, I can wash them. It'll be all right, but just to be safe. Oh, we're having a girls get together to celebrate Christmas. And one of the things is we've got to bring our favorite things. And I already got, um, oh, I'm having the intuition razors shipped from Amazon, which normally isn't a Christmas thing, but it's a favorite things party. And that's one of my favorite things. So I bought an extra intuition razor, intuition razor, <laughs> To give as a gift for the favorite things. And I got one for my daughter for her stocking. And then I got this to go with it. Double chocolate, salted caramel, French vanilla, and peppermint. Because I love hot cocoa. I just don't like making hot cocoa. It's really not that convoluted. But I like to make things way more difficult than they are. I got this for my... Oh, 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 oh. Things are falling. Things are falling. Okay. Move this over here now. I got one of these each. One for my son and one for my daughter. Oh no. I lost it. Where did it go? That's not good. Did I already get it out and put it somewhere? What the heck? Where'd it go? My dude, for real? That's crazy. I don't know. Alright, I'm gonna have to hunt that down. If it fell in this box, oh, shit. Ship, ship, ship. If it fell in this box, the last time it was filled up with garbage. Yeah, I think I just threw it away. Um, It's this giant, which sucks because these cost $5 a piece. Giant gummy bears on a stick. I got one for my, well, I got one. So I'm going to have to figure out who I'm going to get it for. i got to find that one. It's got to be around here somewhere. You don't just lose a giant gummy bear, right? I mean, I would think. The thing is, is if it wasn't that thing and they threw it out into the recycling bin, my recycling can picked pick it up today. So it's long gone. Like, I wouldn't be able to get it back. Which is kind of crappy. Okay. Um. Next thing I got is I got this for my nephew's bag. I'm actually going to open it and take each of them out and put them in his bag separately. Because that's how I am do, um, doing it. So it'll fit in there. <sighs> but this is five below, by the way. That's five below. The Cheshire Cat is five below. Um, the Giant Gummy Bear is five below. This was Amazon. Everything else so far has been big lots. I have didn't really mention that. I should have, but I didn't. Um, I'm going to take these off because these aren't that cool. Uh, the next thing I got is this game from by Five Below or from Big Lots. It's called There's Been a Murder. A collaborative game of death and deduction. The back reads, there's been a murder in an austere, austere country house in 1930s England. The townspeople can help in different ways and can each provide clues to help solve the crime. Can the players work together to solve the mystery or will the murderer escape justice? Team up to investigate the crime and catch the killer and there's been a murder. Play your cards wisely to expose the murder and give subtle hits, subtle tips to the other detectives. Help the detective uncover the murder before time runs out and the killer escapes into the night. So it's an engaging party game of deduction and careful card play. This engaging party game of deduction and careful card play will have everyone talking and working together to guess which cards you have, all without revealing your hand. So it's kind of like Clue when they work together. And I think that's kind of fun. And so you obviously have to have multiple people to play it. But we should have six of us at the party. So I think that's probably a good amount of people. I mean, I don't know. I've never played it before. 
Does it say how many people? You know how games you say ages, like age this and this, and then number of players. This does not. Nine effects card. Nine effect cards. Fifteen action cards. Reference guide and complete instructions. Oh, maybe six might be too. Oh, nope. Right here. Three to right here at the very top, in this dark print that you can't see. Three to eight players, ages fourteen plus. So. There's going to be six of us. So that'll work out nicely. The next thing I got from Big Dots is I got this little sanitizer with penguin on it. That's for my daughter's stocking. I got the next couple of things are five below. And then I got one more thing from Amazon. Which is good because I wondered where those went and I found them. I got this to go in my niece, one of my niece's bags. This to go into a different niece's bag. And this for my aunt. Which I might give to her earlier. Because it's a ornament. But I don't know if she even has a, even has a tree or not. Um, but. No, no, I'm supposed to be making cookies in a couple weeks. I debated doing it early. But I don't know if I'm going to do that or not. Um, this is for my sister-in-law, the Deliberate Dreamer's Journal. She's big on, like, interpreting dreams and doing all that stuff, so I thought this would be a good journal for her. Um, it's basically, I believe it's the same on every page. Oh, first there's, like, uh, okay, so let's see. So this is a gift. of What have you been dreaming of? What stories are you weaving now, dear dreamer? And what will you dream up next? So there's a story, the thing in the front, a little thing to tell you how dreams can help, how to use this book, a couple of quote things. Um, okay, where was I? Sorry, got interrupted for just a brief second. Oh, all right. So... Yeah, so how to use this book. The deliberate dreamers set strong intentions. Your dreams often point you in the direction of your most treasured intentions and desires. So it's only fitting to have space in this journal to write down your intentions. Okay, so that's where you do this. Seed your intentions, bar them with words, watch them bloom into your life. And then it starts the journal. Turn and sleep. How to, oh, okay, so how to get really good sleep. Caffeine and cell phone free. Crisp sheets. Consistency. Clear conscience. Compassionate intentions. I'm going to stop real quick and tell you a quick story about this. I've done this. I've done all this. I've done this a thousand times. I'm just a third shifter. That's my life. I have horrible insomnia. There's a meditation, a spectrum of your dreams, symbolic dreams, announcing dreams, serious dreams, warning dreams. So it's got, and then, oh, so and then here we go. Here it starts. The deliberate dreamer journey. So you write the date. My dreams point me in this direction. What action am I being guided to take? What kind of dream was this? How did my dream make me feel? Prominent seminals, places in my dream. And then what dreams... So then it's basically... You just do that over and over again. And I don't think there's anything different. Well, I guess there's different sayings. My inner images are rich in insight and meaning. I easily tap into my inner guide system. Oh, here's something at the back here. Align and intend, release and receive, set your intentions in the space below. What do I need to let go of to see my let intentions come to life? And then the 10 common dream themes and their universal meanings. Nature, the body, the elements, okay. money, nakedness. Yeah, you can see I'm not going to say that. Illness versus wellness, stillness versus disturbances, space, shapes, time. And then an A to Z collective dream symbols and their potential meaning. So I think this is going to give her a lot to work with. I'm excited to give it to her because she, she's always been, ha she, she, we talk about her dreams a lot. She's like, I had a dream about this. I had a dream about this. I wonder what this is thinking. So I think this is going to help her a lot. I think she'll really enjoy it. I'm really bummed I can't find this other dream.
thingy. I'm going to have to find it here in a minute. The next thing I got is for my Sisa. I got her these I don't know why they did that. That's weird. Uh, oop. Wrong way. It's a Lion King earrings. I think she. I think she's gonna like them because I think I mentioned to you in another video. I asked her what her three favorite movies were and she said depending on her mood <laughs> so she has three she just has three favorite Disney. well actually now it's four favorite disney movies she has three favorite classic disney movies um pre-2000s uh i think that's what determines classic and all of them are just depending on her mood which one's her actual favorite so i know she'll like that um, I think that's all I have to show you. So I'm going to stop this video because somehow I managed to make all this stuff last 26 minutes. I don't know how I did that. Um, oh, but I do have a story to tell you. Do I wait to tell you? I'm going to wait and tell you when I put stuff together because it's going to be the next video. Um, <sighs> yeah. Okay. So I'm just going to tell you. From, I got some tools from Lowe's for my husband. I can't carry them in here because they're way too heavy. Um, I got him a toolbox he had to open early because it was ginormous. It's a, one of those rolling ones that he can take back and forth to his projects back to the shed. And it's huge and heavy and it was taking up space in my living room and I had nowhere else to put it. So I was like, you're going to have to open that early. <laughs> um, and I got some tools for, my, for his uncle. I got a tool set for my son. And I think that's it from those. And then I got, coming from Amazon, I just got the Intuition Razors, some socks with gingerbread on them. That says, if you can see this, let's get baked for, for my sister-in-law. And, um, yeah, and then I think that's it. Other than um, the things I mentioned that are not Christmas stuff. So, Okay. Uh, till next time, I will talk to you in my next video. Have a blessed day.